Hi, uh, I'm Tim, and today I'd like to talk to you about safety, uh, specifically propellant safety with our electric-powered radio control model aircraft. For those of us who enjoy electrical power, this is your standard brushless motor here with a prop. These things have a ton of power. We have all either experienced or seen somebody that plugs in the electrical power, the throttle settings a little bit up, the transmitter drops, something goes wrong, and the propeller bursts to action. If that It'll catch you by surprise if it should, God forbid, hit you. It can cause some very uh, quick and extensive damage. These pro props are just sharp, even feeling the edges, let alone going into your hand. So what we want to do as RC modelers is not get hurt. And there are some people, many people, with their electric motors, they simply plug them in and just th there's no safety mechanism at all. Some people have a key insert. What I'd like to describe in this video is a really neat thing called the Safe Start from Dave's Electric RC. The website for Dave's RC is in the video right here. You can go there, just Google Safe Start, Safe Start Dave's Electric RC, and you will uh, get all the information you need. It comes, about, it's about $35, it comes with a circuit board, the on off switch right here, and very clearly marked one plug goes to your receiver, the other plug goes to your electronic speed control. And that's it, it just takes a moment to install. And what I'd like to do now is give you an example on my airplane, the Kitten, of how the Safe Start works. So we can see over here we have my plans built, uh, Live Wire Kitten, a wonderful plan for model airplane news of a 1953 design. And what we can see right here, this is the butt that I mentioned. It's essentially the on-off switch for the um, safe start. This is the electronics, and that's the button right there. Then it plugs into the receiver and the ESC, just right per the directions. Now, it couldn't be any easier. So let's give a little demonstration of how this works. Here's my three-cell LiPo, and I'm going to stay clear of the prop. Everything's working here, and I'm going to plug in the electrical power of the battery to the system. You can hear the ESC chirping and getting ready. Notice the light is off on the button and nothing is working because the system is smart enough to know the transmitter is not on. I'm going to turn on my transmitter now. Everything's connected. Notice the red light automatically comes on the safe start. What that means is the system is powered up and watch the control surfaces here. I can move elevator up, down, rudder left, right. But This is the key thing. Watch the throttle. Nothing happens with the propeller with the throttle because of the red light. You're getting ready to fly. You take your plane out to the flight line. I'm going to touch. Oh, I have to hold it for three seconds. Sorry. So there it is, green. Controls still work. I'm gonna just hold the plane here, but now the throttle works because it's a green light right there. When you're done flying, you come up to the airplane, touch it, it's red, <clears throat> the light, the controls work, but watch the engine, nothing happens. And then once we are done with everything, we disconnect the battery and everything's safe. So Dave's RC, safe start. By the way, I get no money on this on anything. There's no affiliate links, nothing. This is just a pure safety tip for electric RC pilots out there of something that is $35, could not be any easier to install, and could save an injury someday at the RC field. Thank you very much.